Welcome to Northeast Wisconsin Technical College. My name is Dan Minchiff and I'm the Chief Information Officer. And I'm Jeff Raffin, the President of the College. And we've been asked to provide some thoughts around the promise of digital transformation and what that means in higher education. Dr. Raffin, what does the promise of digital transformation mean to you? I think it's going to allow us to continue down that path of individualizing instruction. Um, and customizing it specifically to a, our students' needs. There's been a lot of talk lately about equity, and this notion of equity is start where the person is at as opposed to where the college wants everybody to be. And that takes a lot of effort and time and customization. We need to figure out what will that person need. And I think digital um, environment is going to allow for that to occur. You could literally have 10 students in the same room um, proceeding at a different pace um, based on what they already know or what they don't know or proceeding as rapidly or as quickly as possible or reviewing material all at the same time by using this digital technology. In the business of higher education, it means the systems need to talk together, they need to work together, they need to be reliable, but most importantly, they need to meet the students where they are as well, so that they're easy to use, they're intuitive, and not a lot of overhead. And that's not a small ask. It's, it's a challenging environment to work in. But remember the digital equipment, tools, they are just that, they are tools. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big believer in having the tools do what you want them to do as opposed to the tools defining what you can do. You know, I, I think there's some of the newer tools like um, augmented reality and virtual reality is not only going to allow us to create more immersive environments for our students, but also to take that education off of the campus. And that's going to be increasingly important as we move into an environment that I think is going to be more hybrid in terms of not only learning but work itself. So having those tools and knowing how to use them and use them in a way in which to enhance the education and increase the access to education I think is going to be critical. Absolutely. And in that, giving our faculty a chance to work with the tools to incorporate them into the curriculum, it's amazing how much more engaging a virtual environment is more than what people expect it to be. But Pretty anytime good. you bring in new equipment, new ideas, um, there's a certain amount of time to break it in. And that's mm -hmm. why I think at our college, we've created some essentially teaching labs where you can begin to work with this equipment before you start taking it into a classroom and figuring mm -hmm. out what will work and what won't work. Absolutely. And we're actually retooling our IT department to be more focused on vendor management and relationships. As many of these tools move into the cloud, it's not on-premises in our data center where we could actually affect change. We need to have really good, strong partnerships and relationships that will ensure the same reliability we've expected from our own systems. Right. Of how and we select it's going to evolve. It's going to change. Mm -hmm. And uh, we as institutions, frankly, can't afford uh, to make changes um, uh, all the time, and certainly we can't afford to make mistakes. And so that's, you know, there's a certain amount of risk. Um, and we're going to have to think about whether or not this is where we need to make the investment, and frankly, whether or not we want to be on the bleeding edge or we want to be on the leading edge. Absolutely. Frankly, I want to be on the leading edge, but not the bleeding edge. I think that's for sticking with your strategy, making sure your strategic goals are there and letting the technology help enable that and not be a roadblock is, uh, is a good way for success. Well said.